welcome to the Abi Wafas Mosque and tomb in Guangzhou. Nestled amidst tranquil gardens and shaded by ancient trees, this sacred site holds a position of special importance for Muslims around the world. At the heart of this complex lies the tomb of a highly revered sage, Saad Ibn Abi Waqqas. Saad Ibn Abi Waqqas led a life marked by steadfast faith and remarkable military achievements. As a young man and a close relative of the Prophet Muhammad, he was among the earliest converts to Islam, earning the esteemed position of a trusted companion of the Prophet. Saad holds a remarkable position in the history of Islam in China. According to Chinese Muslim traditions, the pivotal year of 651 witnessed the introduction of Islam to this ancient land. It is recounted that Saad Ibn Abi Waqqas led a diplomatic mission to the court of Emperor Gaozong of the Tang Dynasty in Chang'an, now known as Xi'an, in 651. Following his audience with the Chinese emperor, Saad received official authorization to practice Islam in China. The question of whether Saad Ibn Abi Waqqas personally introduced Islam to China remains a complex historical debate. Some scholars view these accounts as pious legends, while others see them as evidence of early Muslim contact with the Chinese Empire. The lack of definitive historical records adds a layer of intrigue to this centuries-old mystery. The prayer hall, a fusion of Arabic tradition and Chinese architecture, stands as a testament to history. Its red and green hues evoke reverence. Within these walls, Saad's legacy lives on. Today, Muslims from different corners of China and beyond gather here. They pay homage to the man who introduced and established Islam in China. As you explore this sacred space, remember the courage, faith, and enduring spirit of Saad Ibn Abi Waqqas. His legacy echoes through time, connecting us across continents.